Welcome to DLIQ. In this video, I am going to show you how you can install NA10 with ngrock. So let's have a little bit of introduction. What is NA10? So NA10, it's a free and open source workflow automation tool. It's it's more like a robot assistant. You can uh, you can automate task. Okay. So whichever it's your boring task or if you are doing some uh, repetitive task, you can just assign it to NA10 and it can do it for you. Obviously, you need to understand the logic behind the scene, how it creates the automation. But it's very easy to understand. It creates automation based on a flow. Okay. So it creates automation, something like this. This is just one of the example. Uh, what what things you can do it with Anatin? Let's say you want to send a scheduled email for like every every Monday. And it's a customized email. So you can't just do a scheduled email and it works for everyone. So if you want to do that, you can do it with Anatin. Let's say you want to get notified if something goes wrong on your dashboard, if something goes wrong on your website and you want to get alerts, you can automate it with Anatin. It has like more than 300 plus uh, application support. Plus it has uh, custom nodes as well, which is peeled by community. It has huge community support. So you can rely on that. They also have a business uh, they, they also have enterprise solution for larger organization. But for our scenario, basic self-install, it's more than enough. And majority of case, even if you are a company or a business, majority of time hosting an ten on your local server or somewhere in cloud, it's much cheaper than buying a subscription from an ten unless you need specific tools, which is only provided by an ten so when people first started using Anaten, they tend to have a problem with setting up their public webhook URL. And in majority of cases, you need to have public, publicly accessible webhook URL for connecting third-party applications like Slack, Telegram, or uh, Notion, or GitHub, Discord, any of this thing. If you don't know what is a webhook, webhook, it's event-based trigger. So if something happens on your GitHub profile, it should immediately get notified to you via email that can be set up with the webhook. In order to get a publicly accessible webhook URL, and since you are using locally hosted Anaten, which is not publicly available, and setting up a, like reverse proxy and all those things, it's very complicated, then this video is for you. By just using ngrock, free account, it's totally fine. You just use ngrock and connect your ngrock credential with your Anaten, and it works fine. Okay, so let's start with the actual understanding how you can connect your ngrock account with your anaten so first of all you need to have an ngrock account so you can just search for ngrock okay and you can sign up so you can sign up with your google account or you can just create another account as well i'm just using my test email accept and create an account so once you log in into your ngrock account it should be looking like this okay it has everything you require okay so what you are supposed to do next you need to go to your domains here okay and create domain so once you get a domain it looks like this it's a random domain and you can use your anaten with this public publicly available domain just make sure that this is more for a development, not an actual scenario. Don't rely on the business side of the application. For that, you can check out my upcoming video. Okay. So once you get your domain, you go to set up and install. You can find out how to connect your platform. So by default, it's identify that I'm using Linux. But if you have any other platform, you can choose the platform. Okay. From here. So installing ngrock. It's pretty easy. You just copy it. You open up your terminal and you paste it here. Enter. You add your secret password and enter. Okay. Once you set up your ng rock, second thing you need to do, you need to add the authentication. Okay. Once you add authentication, it says your authentication has been saved. Now let's move forward with how to install Anaten. So for that, I'm using Docker Desktop. If you don't have a Docker Desktop installed, please check out my other video. 
you should be able to find a link up there okay okay once your docker desktop start you are going to go to images okay search image to run and then you are looking for n10 okay the first one it's n10 io n10 that's the one you are supposed to run so you can just say run here so once your n10 image is downloaded it should be something like this so you just simply go to run here okay and there are some optional setting we have to make okay first thing we need to set the container name you can give any container name i'm just saying n10 container okay for the port you are supposed to provide which port it's going to run so for now the default port i'm just using default port okay 5678 for the volume part we need to provide where we want to store our data so even if we restart the machine your our data is safe and secure so you can select it from here okay so let's say i want to store my data somewhere in desktop here okay i'll just say n10 data okay. so now that's my home path and we also need to set the container path so container path is going to say the same home node and dot and eight and okay you can also add other volumes if you want to access separate data apart from just n8 and so you can add other volumes as well there are some key environment variable you have to provide okay the first one which is uh, going to be i'm just copy pasting it and i'll post the whole documentation or a blog in the comment so you can just use it so first one it's going to be n10 editor based url in editor based url you are going to provide your actual domain okay so you are going to provide this thing i'm just copying it your domain okay make sure you are providing https and then your domain okay second most important thing you will require it's going to be webhook url okay and the webhook url also you are pasting the same values here okay so these are the two important thing when it comes to environment variable that will make sure that you can access your n10 outside of your computer and your web pub, uh, and your webhook url it's publicly available okay you can also set time zone and other things and if you want to download your data somewhere within your computer then i would recommend to use it this thing okay so this variable it's called n8 and default binary data mode and this will make sure that any larger file you have it does not run it in your ram it runs it on your system so if you are downloading a larger file it will download it on your system it will not store it in your ram so you can just after doing this you can just run it okay so now it says that your url here it's publicly available but actually it's not if you go to this url it says ng rock error so once you are done with the installation within docker you can go back to your uh, ng rock setup you can just copy this command and paste it in your terminal okay just make sure you are providing the port which is 5678 once you do that your website it's up and running you can go to the website refresh it so now your n8 and it's totally working up and running with ngrock so after your setup is complete you should be able to see something like this which is the home page of your n10 editor workflow okay so just to start with the scratch okay how it works so once we are here we can test out our webhook url if it's working or not okay 
So let's look for webhook. So once you get your webhook, okay. so this is your webhook URL here. Okay. If you want to test it out, you can just say test for the listen event and you can just copy your webhook URL, paste it in other site. Okay. And if you see something like this, that means your webhook URL is working correctly. That's it for today and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video where I'll show you how you can add your custom domain with NATN.